coming up on At Your Leisure. Hi, I'm Jared Johnson. And I'm Brianne Johnson. We're here at Five Mile Pass with the entire family. We're going to spend Memorial Day. We're so excited. Come along with us. How fast can these go-karts really go? I'm Ryan Sprague, and today we push these go-karts to their limits. I'm Chad Booth. We're going to take you into the Bonneville Garage as we get a look at the new suspension and serpentine stall on the restoration of Road Force One. Welcome to At Your Leisure. We're the Johnson family. We're hanging out at Five Mile on this beautiful Memorial Day. We have been so excited. Usually my family, my extended family, doesn't come along on these trips, but today we invited them. We have cousins, we have uncles, and a lot of people try are gonna try side-by-sides for the first time. We're yeah. so excited. And also dirt biking. We got dirt bikes, we got side-by-sides, a little bit for everybody. Should be a fun day. I think the girls will hang in the side-by-sides. You guys will be dirt biking. I'm just excited for the whole day. Should be awesome. We're out of five mile right now and just tearing it up, trying to get, uh, trying to feel young again. Well, the nice thing about five mile is that it's just wide open space. You can see the kids riding, you can kind of park up on a perch and you can see the entire valley up here. The kids can ride, they have a great time, we can watch them and it's just limitless opportunity up here. Utah's so pretty. Like there's so many things in Utah that are like beautiful. There's like um, desert and then freezing cold and then the, it's just amazing. Like there's so much you can do here. It's also very, really pretty. Yeah, the nice thing is it's not really busy up here. You know, it's not like places like St. George where there's literally a million people out riding. You feel safe up here. You don't have to worry about the kids being out and you know, getting run over by something, which is real, real nice. And the weather's, I mean, the weather's amazing. like just you know it's wide open area you know you feel free you know whenever you like get on a dirt bike and you go through a trail or you know you go on the road it's it's just you know you feel like you're free oh uh, no this is actually my first time coming out here I think I think it's great like it, the open area and stuff is super fun I love it so it's just just a good time definitely go four-wheeling for sure and ride the side-by-sides because those those are so fun like I that, that's probably like the best part here for sure. You don't need a lot out here to have a good time. Go rent a side-by-side, -side, rent a four-wheeler, rent a motorcycle, come out, check it out, realize that Nordstrom's is a fun place to hang out and so is the restaurant in your backyard. But when you come out here, Literally, it is the time of your life. You'll enjoy it, you won't regret it, and it'll be memories that you'll set forever, and it's not something you'll do just once. We're out here at Five Mile on Memorial Day weekend. We're having a ton of fun. We've had a great time on the motorcycle so far, side by sides. Everyone's just been having a great time. Uh, it's a great, great opportunity to get family together and have some fun. And speaking of family, I have my brother Aaron here with us. Hey, yeah, we love coming out to Five Mile. This is a wonderful place to come during uh, right after winter time. Everything else is muddy and there's nothing else to ride. So we come out to Five Mile for the first couple of months of the year and it lends amazing riding for all ages. We're having a great time. And speaking of which, we're gonna go hit some more trails, some more jumps, and while we do, you guys check out this first story. Go-kart racing is a popular activity to do with your friends and family. But in Tooele, you can take the joy of kart racing to the next level. 
Utah Motorsports Campus holds one of the most sought-after tracks in the country. For beginners and professional racers alike, many will venture out to this well-renowned campus to race around the track. A long time we were putting on big races, uh, AMA World Superbike, the Pirelli World Challenge, um, some big races which drew a lot of big names. Um, generally, on your day-to-day -day operation, you won't see them as much, um, but on the big weekends, um, there are some big names that, that end up coming out to race with us, whether it's a national go-kart race or it's something that's going on on the car track, um, you'll definitely see some big names. Day in and day out, UMC encourages racers at every skill level to participate in the fun and excitement. For beginner or intermediate racers, they can learn where they need to improve and increase their skill. UMC also holds nationally recognized competitions for each age group of racers. Parts of the track allow racers to reach very high speeds as they compete to come out on top. So just like you would see in motocross or any professional car racing, there is a national kart racing series. There's actually multiple uh, series that, that do kart racing. And, and it's, yeah, we travel all over the country for events. And um, you know, early in the season, we typically spend most of our time in Florida. And then as, the, uh, as it warms up across the country, we start moving west. So we, you know, we'll hit uh, New Orleans, Texas, and then finally it's warm enough here in Salt Lake and we start racing here. The great thing about karting is karting is great for all age groups. And so our youngest age group is, starts at five years old out here, and uh, our oldest drivers are in their upper 70s. And, and, and the five-year-olds are having every bit as much fun as our, our older drivers. And then obviously our young teenage drivers, there's a lot of them out here. When you visit the track, you will feel right at home amongst the staff members. Each member is extremely passionate about the sport of kart racing. They are well trained and maintain safety all day long for everyone involved. Uh, so we ha usually have like 10 something races a year and I'm out here probably 20 times testing, coaching, mechanicing for people and driving as well. Uh, so I'm racing all year long. I travel with a, a, car, a professional karting team as a mechanic. I, I coach and travel with people all over the country during the winter months in Utah. And then when our season starts, then I you know, can finally jump back in. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing for me is, is one, the fun, right? Uh, I always tell people we're go-kart racing. We're here to have fun. We're here to enjoy the time. Um, but even beyond that, I just... I love the growth and community, whether it's from our private racers to our rental racers, um, the car guys, the dirt guys, it doesn't matter. It just seems like everybody that comes out here wants to take part in motorsports. They want to help each other and they want to um, figure out whether to be faster or how to get started in the sport. Um, it's just a killer community that works well together and I love it. Whether you're looking for a fun family and friend activity or wanting to increase your skill level in the art of kart racing, Come on out to Tooele and have some fast-paced fun at Utah Motorsports Campus. Without your leisure, I'm Ryan Sprague. Locally owned Stedman's Recreation has been serving Utah for over 50 years. The owners, Russ, Dave, and Kirk, live and ride here. Stedman's Recreation supports the community, sponsoring schools, Utah State Parks, and Utah Trail Systems. Looking for a new side-by-side -side ATV or dirt bike? Your wait is over. Inventory is in stock. Let Stedman's help you get outside so you can create memories that last a lifetime. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, Argo, KO, and Beta. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You might think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. At Your Leisure has a long-standing reputation and a large, loyal audience of adventurers in the outdoors. Although we're excited to continue to grow and enjoy the shared success of our longtime sponsors, we have space for more. And if you have a brand that would benefit from the two decades of goodwill that we've built, contact us at AYLTV.com and let us amplify your voice above the competition. When you're ready for adventure, fuel your machine with Clear 91. Fuel for performance, fuel for adventure, and fuel for the long haul. Ethanol free, 91 octane. Fill up with Clear 91. Only available at Eagle's Landing. With you for the long haul. 
Utah is known for its mountains, but there aren't a lot of mountains that offer you adventure like this. Here in Hanksville, we're home to the Henry Mountains. Trails branch off toward hidden bluffs, and bison roam free as if you've traveled back to the days of the pioneers. Come to Hanksville and discover the Henry Mountains. Hanksville, Utah, your base camp for thrills. to talk about this machine, the Yamaha Wolverine from Stedman's. I mean, Erin, what do you think? You know, we've been in a lot of side-by-sides over the years. Together. Right? Together. And this one has got to be by far the most comfiest ride we've ever been in. So there's a button right here that says comfort, and then you can also kick up the, make it not as cozy, right? I think that must be what we're feeling. This has been an amazing ride. We're not sharing. I'm not getting out. It's been so fun. All right, welcome back to At Your Leisure. It has been an incredible day. The entire crew is having a blast. It's been a little muddier than we anticipated, but we're not mad, are we? We definitely took it out for a ride, didn't we? I mean, I think I need a shower, but you know what? I'm okay with that. And I think we need a little more mud. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's hit it. Uh, right now, we're just out uh, riding dirt bikes and side by sides, you know, having, having a good time. Um, probably sitting out in the sun riding side by sides. That's like probably the best part for me, for sure. Uh, not often, but sometimes. But yeah, when I do, it's super fun. I love to do it. Just like, just going fast, like, it's so exhilarating and it's just like, it's just so fun for me. Love going fast. To be honest, just the engagement, the adrenaline. Like, I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie, and I just love, like, uh, going up jumps, you know, stuff like that. I love racing, and I also love doing trails. I love, specifically, though, I like going on tracks, you know? Oh, yeah, it's my favorite thing to do. Whenever I can, I try to, you know? I just love getting on a dirt bike and riding. You know, this is my first time actually coming out here this year. <laughs> it's so fun. I love it. I love the thrill. I love laughing with everyone and just like being so excited. No, I never dirt bike. I've never actually done it, but I love four wheeling and side by sides. We used to do that growing up, so yeah. I just, I love the thrill. And that's also just so fun being like when you're with someone, just like sharing like the fun, like laughs and just being with your family. I mean, yeah, I could, for sure. I would be down to learn it. They're so fun. I was looking forward to riding the side-by-side -side for sure, but I did, it was so fun. But I was really excited to see my family and talk to them. But it's super fun though. Even if you don't know how to do it, it's still so fun. Oh, it's a KTM 65 SX. I literally love it. That's like, that's like you know, uh, if you even get a dirt bike, if you want to go a little bit cheaper, I would get a CRF, like 110, if you're like, you know, my age. But really, if you want to go like higher, it's KTM and Husky is really the best bike ever. I mean, I love my bike. Like, you could wreck it as much as you want and it would be perfectly fine. But when you get a little bit older, you realize that the daily grind just goes on and on and on. And the older you get, the more fun this stuff really tends to be because you need that adrenaline rush. You've got to remember, that there's a life to be lived out there and, and there really is no age for this. That's the thing, you can start out slow and build up to something a little bit more, but you don't have to get gnarly to have a good time out here. Being on a bike is the best thing in the world for all ages. My kids range from five to 12 and uh, they're awesome at it and they love it. First thing you notice is the colors. Blue sky contrasting against red horizon, blending Utah. The world goes on forever out here. There's nothing stopping you. In Blanding, you can ride right from downtown on Recapture Rim Trail, discovering the heritage of the West without limits or boundaries. Don't be held back. 
Join us in a land of true freedom. Blanding. More to be explored. Wondering where your next OHV adventure will take you? Outsiders Utah has your answer with downloadable GPS routes, ride times, distance, local amenities, and other details. 360 street views of the trails that let you explore before you go and more. Eliminate the guesswork and uncertainty and find a trail you'll love. Visit OutsidersUtah.com and see the trail before you ride the trail. The sparsest populated county in Utah is full of adventure. Seemingly endless territory, where after a few twists and turns, you can find yourself in a land that feels untouched by time. From desert to mountains and everything in between, Daggett County offers a picture-perfect experience for the modern explorer. It's what you find at the end of your adventure. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're out here at Five Mile, just right here in our backyard in Utah County. Having a great time, getting some good riding in and a couple little jumps too. So far, no injuries, so good. Um, today we're out in the middle of nowhere, dirt biking and riding side by sides and eating food and spending time with family. My favorite part, even though it's fun to ride all the dirt bikes and all the like um, toys, it's super fun to be with my family and laugh with them and play games and get to know them better. Yeah, cousins, aunts, uncles, and friends, and just everyone, yeah. Yeah, we try to get together as much as we can. All of our schedules are really busy, but when we do come together, it's so fun, and I miss all of them so much, so it's nice to see them once in a while and have fun with them. It's really hot. <laughs> Bring, bring food, bring your family, like be out here and it's really nice to get off your cell phone and get out of the world and really just like connect to the people that you really not, that truly matter and it's really fun. So if you really want to connect with people and just disconnect from the world, definitely come here. It's so fun. dirt bikes and having fun with the family, eating food, catching up, yeah. I, I, I was just so excited to see everyone. I haven't seen my aunts in like a long time, so I was like, yes, yeah, like I get to hang out with everyone and just like, um, just like hop on a, like hop on a side by side if I want, or hop on a dirt bike and then just hang out. We have a cabin down in like Teasdale and we'll always go four wheel down in there. But, and you t like around here, we don't really do it that much. So like, this is like a new fun thing. I love to hike. Um, I'm a big hiker. I love just being outside, yeah, with family, going on walks, having the sun on you. Yeah, it's awesome. We don't usually go outdoors. We usually just go at someone's house, you know, eat dinner, lunch, you know, play some board games, stuff like that. Just getting together as a family. I don't know. I just think it's, it's a lot better without, like, most technologies and stuff. Like, you know, we're just out together, like, as, as a group and as a family and just you know, getting along better. You know, I, uh, I'm a real estate developer and I work all of the time. And about two years ago, after working about 18 hours a day, I decided that I needed to spend more time with my kids. And um, what a better way than to get on some motorcycles, some side-by-sides, some four-wheelers, and come out and get a little bit of adrenaline, which is kind of a form of meditation. It's really great. You come out here, you forget about everything, the past and the future, and you kind of live right in the present. It's absolutely amazing and a lot of fun time with the kids. It's memories that will last them for the rest of their life. All right, Arian and I have had the debate
bike going all day. Do we prefer four wheelers or a side by side? And I think we decided side, side by, by side. side and not only any side by side. This this side, side by side. side. <laughs> it's been so much fun. Okay, we're gonna keep tearing it up while we do. We have a great story for you. Take a look. Here we are at Bonneville uh, Garage today. Last week was a big week because we finally got the motor, the transmission, and the differential in and in place. So today what we're doing out front of the coach is this serpentine belt system. Well, this is an old motor. It originally had a three belt system on it, but we want a serpentine system on it. Now, it's not just because it's bling, but it is bling. This is a CVF Racing uh, Serpentine Belt System. The nice thing about this one, everything is, worked off, is working off of that one inch billet aluminum plate. Reason you're doing this, all new cars have serpentine belts because the belts don't yeah. loosen up. It has oh. a tensioner pulley here on it. Tensioner pulley is gonna add the tension to it so we don't have to adjust it. Pretty nice system. And that'll have, that'll have the motor work like a new motor. And that's the idea, we want it to work new. Now, we had the students bolt this set up, and then they did all the various parts on there. So today, that's been a great project for the students, especially since we are literally on the last hours of school. Yeah, it was amazing. They stayed, uh, what, commencement night to get that motor in. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Motions were high. So, so we did a lot. So we're good. So what's our next project? We're going to be putting new rear suspension on. This motorhome has four rear wheels and it's air rod. The new suspension we're going to put is one airbag for each wheel, discrete suspension. Okay. Before we put in the quad back system, we've got to get rid of the old brake hoses. Okay, a 50 year old brake hose should not be on Road Force One. So come on down here, let me show you what we did this morning. This is the new hose. This was in here like that. Pull it out. And somehow, I don't know, but 50-year-old brake lines came loose. It was unbelievable. All three. This is a new double Teflon uh, liner, rated stainless hose with a UV barrier on it. This is the finest brake hose on the planet, let me tell you. Next thing we did, there are four bolts that hold this bogey in. But all four of those bolts have to come out. As soon as that's done, we're going to start installing the quad back system. So come with us on the other side and I'll show you how that's done. How are we doing, gentlemen? Great. Yeah. Okay, what he's doing, this is the new bracket. We're going to convert this from a single bag to two Firestone Ride Ride bags. This is the quad back system now. This bag will push on this first wheel. And then this will go in here next. Go up against that and it'll push the second wheel. <laughs> Two Firestone Ride Ride airbags. This is a new custom uh, built four bag system. Each wheel has its own airbag, so it's a full discreet air ride system. Thanks for being with us today. We'll be right back with more at your leisure. Welcome to the Great Basin. Welcome to Delta, Utah. In Delta, you'll find more than just friendly smiles and blue skies. Out here, unending trails take you all the way to the border and into hidden canyons you never knew existed. Explore Topaz Mountain in the West Desert. Ride for days on end. Rockhound. Or just enjoy the quiet of rural Utah. After a day of OHV adventure, we'll take care of you as if you were one of our own. Come to Delta. Here, everyone is welcome. Join us on AYL 24-7 with early access to commercial-free episodes, detailed trip itineraries, a look behind the scenes, group discussions and forums, profile and account customization, individual segments, and a nostalgic trip to classic episodes. We want our viewers to get the show they want to see when they want to see it. It's all the viewing you've grown to love and more. Sign up now at AYLTV.com. Count on a Honda generator for home backup power that won't let you down. 
Honda offers a complete line of generators with legendary Honda reliability built into every one. Plus, our advanced CO Minder carbon monoxide detection system. Select models include Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity for remote operation from your smartphone. And once the storm's cleared, Honda generators are great for anywhere you need portable power. Before you pack the car, before you plan the route, make sure your vacation be the one you always dreamed of. With a pre-trip visit to Tunex. Locally owned. Regionally connected. Tunex can get you on the road. And keep you there. No matter where you travel in Utah. From timing belts to oil changes. Transmission service or new brakes. A towing upgrade or even a tune-up. We have the certified technicians to do the job right. There's a Tunex near you. Find it at Tunex.com. All right, you guys, I may have a baby bump, but this baby bump is not stopping me from having so much fun. I know, can you believe it? She's mm. here, it's here. But look what I've done. I wanna take credit for this. It used to be white. <laughs> now, it's totally tan, it's gray, we're having a blast. Let's just say that we have gotten our money's worth from this crazy day of <laughs> motorcycles and side-by-sides and mud and just having a great time with family at Five Mile. We have loved it, it's been it's a great been day. It's been so fun. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Honestly, I don't know if you can have a better day, a better Memorial Day. The sun is coming in hot. Look at that. Can you see that? It's a good sunburn. <laughs> I may or may not have forgot sunscreen. It's fine. It's fine. We'll remember later. I'll do it when we get to the bottom, right? Yes, absolutely. And while we figure out our sunburns, <laughs> check out next week's show. Chad Booth here. Next week, we are joining in on the classics as Scott and Tanya Huntsman experience all the fun that can be had at the J.C. Hackett Classic Car Cruise. Then there's always Plan B. Kurt Miles will take us to Sand Hollow to find out that sometimes that's not a safe backup plan. And finally, Reese and Mary Ann Stein find themselves back in South America as they show off what was once the most dangerous city in the world. Now it's a mecca for tourists. Now let's take a look at our contest winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us via email by Stacy Dietman, and it looks like Stacy is the lucky winner of an outdoor stove from Camp Chef. Camp Chef offers the best way to get your cooking done in the outdoors. Visit CampChef.com for more information. Congratulations, Stacy, and be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now, let's take a look at the upcoming calendar of events. First up, July 6th through the 9th is the Rally in the Pines, which is America's great western ATV and side-by-side -side event located where the Lem High Mountain Range meets the Lost River Range. This is a great five-day family event, so be sure to get out and have a great time. Then, due to the heavy snowfall this year, the beaver jamboree that is usually held in the spring was pushed back and is now ready to go. It's running July 11th through the 14th. Be sure to come to Beaver this summer for one of the most popular OHV events in the state. It's been a great day. There's nothing better than getting the family all together, the extended family, and being outside, putting phones away, enjoying nature, and having a good time together. What do you think? It's been awesome. A lot of people ride motorcycles for the first time and killing it, not killing themselves, which is awesome. <laughs> also, really having a good time in the side-by-side. -side. There was yeah. a lot happening. Got a little rowdy. A little muddy, which was really, really fun. Well, there's an adventure around every corner. All you have to do is get out there and create your own adventure. At your leisure!